Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Central Pattern Generator, or CPG. Have you ever wondered how we walk, or how horses run, or Drosophila fly? The original hypothesis for locomotion, called the chain reflex hypothesis, suggested that repetitive or rhythmic movement, such as running, was caused by sequential sensory inputs to the spinal cord. This would mean that there was no need for the brain, and that without sensory input, movement would cease. This was found to be an incorrect hypothesis. Further studies have led to the concept of the central pattern generator. This is a circuit that creates a rhythmic output without the need for sensory feedback. CPG works like this. The higher brain or sensory neurons generate a signal. There's a disproportionate threshold of A and B neurons. For the sake of this video, this will lead to A to start firing. A starting inhibits neuron B and excites the subsequent motor neuron C. Eventually, A gets fatigued. At this point, this switches the activation and neuron B starts, leading to A being inhibited and motor neuron D being excited. After a while, B gets fatigued. And the cycle repeats. It should be noted that while sensory input is not needed for the rhythm to occur, the body will address or adjust to any new sensory inputs, for example, jumping over an obstacle in your path. CPGs are also essential for other activities besides locomotion, such as breathing and swallowing. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.